this brother that I'm going to bring up is no ordinary brother. I call him Big Stone, the man with the big bowl. And this brother speaks so passionately. When you hear his voice, you hear the tremor. You hear the concern of the citizens. You hear the concern of the country. Because Big Stone has done a number of years in this music business. And Big Stone right about now, you can check him out on the YouTube library Saturday evening. You can check him out on the Facebook. His name is Claude Sinclair, but we call him Big Stone. Right about now, to the stage, Arnett Gardens, please welcome the man with the big board, Big Stone. Give wide words a big round of applause, please. Could you fix up this? Give me some volume on this thing here, man. I want to be able to talk so they can understand where I'm coming from. Fix it up nice and round. Good evening, honored God. Good evening to you, each and every one of you. I just want to say, my name is Claude Sinclair, but everybody calls me Big Stone. Honored God is a beautiful community. I've been coming here for many, many years. Almost 20 years ago, I met a young man by the name of Greg Nesbeth. He just lived right down the road from here. Greg Nesbeth was a remarkable young man. And I know that greatness lies in this beautiful community. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want to dedicate Yetania Princess Life to the world and also to my wife, Dormalee Sinclair, who's recovering from surgery in the United States of America. Ah, uh, what can I say to Latoya Riley? How can I express how I feel when I have this, this news that your daughter was murdered? I was home and, and I stopped reading the news. And when I read the news, what really hurt the core of my heart was when Latoya Riley says, she smelled burning flesh and did not realize that was her daughter. That touches the core of my heart. She did not realize that that burning flesh that she smelled was her beautiful daughter, Yetania Princess Francis. Well, I just got here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and I saw all the beautiful children right here, four, six, three, two, and all the great people of this beautiful community. I just want to tell you that this great community of Arnett Garden was the first residential community in Kingston. Arnett Garden is the first residential community in Kingston. You used to have the milkman coming to your homes and leaving the milk on the doorstep. You used to have the postman coming in this community and leaving the post in the post box. There used to be pharmacies, ice cream parlors, doctor's office in this beautiful community. So it hurt my heart when something as tragic as this happened. How could this happen to Yetania, who was born here? When I spoke to her little brother a while ago, Ricardo, and I said, Ricardo, what do you remember? about your sister, Ricardo says, she was a nice, nice sister. I said, Ricardo, where did Yatanya get that name Princess from? He said, her grandmother gave that name to her. So Grandma Chen, that's her name. I want to big you up. You're right there. Come right over here. I want to hug you. Hug you because I share your pain. I feel your pain. I feel your energy. Thank you for giving us that beautiful name. Give her a big round of applause. Thank you for giving us that beautiful name to Yetania. And that is why I stand right next to me. And that is why I join force with Catalyst Entertainment Group, headed by Queen Kamala, on this trek to stop this crime and violence. 
that has been plaguing our communities. But you know what we're going to do with Yetania's life tonight? And I prayed about it to the Almighty God last night. I said, what must I say to the people of Arnett Gardens about Yetania? And I'm going to say this. Yetania's sorrow, Yetania's death must bring the platform for change. We must remember Yetania and use the memory, the tragedy that happened to this 14-year-old little girl. We must use this tragedy to rise as a great community that you are. Arnett Garden is the first residential community in Kingston. So we have to clap on yourself. The first out of this great community come great people. Walter Boyd, one of the greatest footballers ever come out of this community. Nesbeth from right down the road, right there. Nesbeth just live right there, down at Sim. I remember many years coming down there. I'm telling you that this community, the old trench town, is the catalyst of greatness. All you of future doctors and lawyers and judges and physicians and you, you name it, I see it in all of you. Let's use your Tanya's life as much as we feel pain in our heart for her, but let's use her life as an example now to show the rest of the world that we can live together. We can bury our differences no matter how rough those differences are. Because we have been hurting for over 50 years. You all have been hurting for a lot of time. I know you all have missed loved ones. When I came in here, I heard that many of your tiny schoolmates and friends are right here tonight. I wish I could meet each and every one of you like how I meet Miss Chen. Right? But I'm saying to you, your friend, your Tanya, princess, did not die in vain. Her name, they should, as a matter of fact, they should build a statue of your Tanya in this community. Because this is the change that Arn and God really need. So Latoya Riley, I know you grieve. Where's Latoya? I've never met her personally. Come over here. Just come over here. I don't want you to say anything if you don't want to. But I just want to stand beside the pillar of strength. Thank you for giving us that beautiful 14-year-old little girl. When I saw the news, I know this was something great. Even though it hurts in your heart, and I read your statement, and I saw you on television, I saw you being up by the Prime Minister of this country. But I only hope that he and all those responsible will use your Tanya in a positive way and let happiness come back to this community. When you say happiness, you say your Tanya Princess Francis. Thank you for giving us, in such a short time, a young, beautiful little girl who had a great future. She was not just given the name Princess for nothing. She was given the name Princess because she is, not just facially, not just what she looks like, but deep embedded in her heart. So on the gardens, rally round, Miss Latoya Riley. Give her your support at this time because she needs you. And guess what? We're here to give you our support. Catalyst Entertainment Group is here to give you their support. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm 61 years old and I cry a lot, you know, and it's good to cry because when you cry, you expel that feelings that you have deeply embedded in your heart. And I want you to remember that Yetania is known now all over the world. Everybody in the United Kingdom know about little Yetania Princess Francis. Everybody in the United States of America know about little Yetania Francis. Everybody in Africa, France, Belgium, you name it. All of the Caribbean know about this beautiful little girl. I wear her proudly on my chest. See her? And I'm decked out in her color because I heard her favorite color was red. And that's why I'm decked out in red tonight. Yatanya, your 
loss is quick, 14 years, but we will use your loss to make a positive change in this community. So I want you all to give Yatanya a big round of applause because she is the catalyst for change. Anna Garden, I understand that for many years you have old wounds. And sometimes the wounds that you have grows a scab. And we think that wound is healed. But guess what? If somebody bumps that scab, we can see it's a fresh wound on the net. I'm begging you, Queen Kamala is begging you. Wise words is begging you. Nadine Willis is begging you. Mitzi is begging you. Earl Allen, a.k.a. Skeba, is begging to use this as an example. Use this as a change and be that example for the rest of the world to follow. While we was on tour, I know we're not ready for the, the music yet, and there's no lined up of any particular artist. But I want this artist to just come forward and bring greetings. Ra, Dave, come over here and let your presence be felt to the people of Arlen Gardens. Ladies and gentlemen, El Big Stone welcome a Big Stone recording artist. An artist that have torn most of the Caribbean and the United States and he's here to perform for you. Give him a big round of applause. And you know, let me just look for Miss Chin again. Miss Chin, Miss Chin, I don't know you, Miss Chin, man. I don't know you long time, Miss Chin. Jesus, oh God. Miss Chin, I never ever know you. Yeah, what do them production? I know her. All right, Roddy. As he sets himself up, because this is not the show time yet, we just want to let you know that we feel your pain. We feel Latoya's pain. When I see her face, it's permanently etched in my mind. When I see her, that grimace, that, that she, sometimes she can't even talk. She can't even breathe. When I look at Latoya, I say, oh my God. I can feel every single muscle in her life. Move. So that is why I'm here tonight. And that is why your Farmer is here. That is why Zesty Ice is here. That's why Identical is here. That is why all of the artists excellent is here. Paris Brown is here. And I know Sativa, the black one, and all the other artists will be coming here as well. We come here to grieve with you. We come here so that your pain is our pain. And we can help to cement the name Yatanya Francis permanently in this community.